Jack's on. Okay. Um, I have a master deck, sure. It's like the fifth time this day, but I can roll with it. H Spike now does 3 damage, can actually snipe off a Jax even if he, he is forged, yes, but mm, he's in failure, like, we have a ton of spells, let's be honest. Maybe Vending Icon is fine, it's just a unit, maybe I have like Crumble to snipe off something if I need to. Yeah, Crumble, look at that. Like, I'm dying though, honestly. We're ready, yeah, let's go, man. Fine. Big Giga Chat. I can take the no 1 damage, it's fine. Pass here. I guess turn 2, putting icon turn 3 and dying. Maybe turn 4. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, sure. I was hoping for Kindred, but this on turn 4 is not that bad, too. Honestly. He doesn't play Jax. You could play the. The Pewto or Weather Master turn 3. It would be pretty annoying, but should be fine if he doesn't high roll. Oh, that's Jax. Wow. Uh, this is a pretty good crumble, honestly. I could just snipe off Jax now and, you know, not let him level because the level Jax is kind of terrifying, let's be honest. But I think just developing and dying now seems fine. I need time. I need to develop dying sooner or later, right? Might as well just get the value now. It's forging too, sure. Weapon roulette. The weapon is gonna be annoying though. He's potentially gonna give it to uh, like all of the units, which is not good. I guess I will just attack with Undying here and just pass my priority back to him and see what he does here. Playing you to potentially give Jax vulnerable doesn't really help because you know, Trochan, Frostbite, Fury to North, Blood Buff spells, also catch I guess. Just call back bro, don't high roll scout man. <laughs> don't do it. Come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's thinking, so might not just be scout because come on, let's be honest. If you just got scout, you would have just picked scout by now. There's no time. There's no need to wait. He got scout. What the oh, hell, man? I guess I. I if I kill this unit, he just gets to put the scout onto another unit, which is like, bro, right? So we just killing Jacks off for now. Seems fine. Yeah, it's alright actually. Sure, let's roll death for now. And uh, combat hook only has three health, right? So Fanny Icon actually actually has a perfect block for combat hook, so that's fine. We gotta be wary of Orn dropping down on turn seven. I mean, units are two, <laughs> four. That's kind of embarrassing, but sure. We didn't actually like fight each other. We've been playing kind of passive, with both of us actually. He runs that card, interesting. Sure. Just like okay, what a quick attack. Oh, no, fine. but I did pick up some delightful mushrooms. I guess I'll just swarm the board with units for now as blockers, oh, and we should be fine. That's fine. I can just block with fading icon. Needs to waste a trochan so he can preserve the scout unit if he wants to. I'm cool with that. Let's go. Use your trochan, my, my friend. He doesn't? Wow, okay, he wants scout weapon in hand, interesting play. I'll just do this then, I guess. Kill undying growth cards for draw Kindred. No Kindred, but Spirit Leash next turn, it's fine too. I mean, he didn't use a Trojan, so maybe this Mustard Hunter pulling this unit seems fine for next turn. Since he did not use a Trojan, right? So, might not even have Trojan. Penny Icon again, that's pretty good. I guess I go for that play. I pull it into Undying, since, you know, Undying needs to grow too, right? Becomes a 5 by next turn if, un if he re Undying really dies, which is awesome. Scout again. Hmm, sure. I uh, will go for this attack. Pull this here, so he needs to block with this unit. I never attack with Spirit Leash, he has, he has a perfect blocker. So I just do this now. You can use the Trochan, he doesn't well. Undying dies for 3 now, basically. That's fine. I could play Fading Icon here, but that's a misplay because if I play Fading Icon, uh, I pull, I put my board up full of units and I won't be generating the free undying in my end phase. So let's just, maybe just claim beyond here, honestly. It's not that bad of a play. I maybe want to try to find like Vengeance or another crumble for on turn 4, about turn 7 because on is most likely dropping down turn 7. But this is an interesting card, but he also kills my own unit, which is not good. Ah, okay, that's not nice too. I can play Fading Icon now since I have enough board space for it. Sure, let's go for that play. And end round here, I guess. Yep. Um, Crumble? Nope. 
Um, atrocity is not enough to kill on on uh, is tough too. So he attacks. Okay, he doesn't have all. Yes, yeah, combat. Co okay, that's way better than on. It's kind of afraid of on. I mean, I could just do this. I mean, it's hilarious, but uh, let's go for it. <laughs> sure, what's up, man? I keep my own units, but come on, it's the new card. You gotta use the new card. It's hilarious. Oh, I thought it was it had like a, a cool animation, but look at Nasus. A 1919. Look at that. That's kind of spicy, don't you think? He had a, he hasn't attacked with a scout weapon yet, so if he gets scout again, he can double attack, which is kind of annoying for four for six damage. So hope to God he doesn't high roll to that. A 1919 stat line Nasus get immediately countered by a frostbite, so that's good. Um, a lot of pain. That's fine. That's only four damage for now. I can tank that. Resolve this. If only a uh, base form Nasus had spell shield too, so it'd be kind of hard to you know control him. But hey, a nineteen nineteen oh Kindred too. Weirdly enough, Nasus is not good enough because uh, he just gets immediately countered by any about any frostbite cards. Let's be honest, because uh, Three Sister stops it, Entomb stops it. He's <laughs> in Frail York, so maybe just attack him with Undying here should be fine. He takes he most likely just take, takes the six damage, I'm guessing. Yep. Hopefully he doesn't join to on. If he had on, he would have just played on on turn seven, so just gotta pray to god this is not on. And I could develop Kindred and Spray Leash. Okay, uh, that's fine. That's a kindred. If he plays um on next turn, then I guess I play Nasus, right? To block. Surprisingly not that bad because it's a 2020. Do I have a draw? I don't think I actually draw. Deve maybe developing go going wide should be the place. It's just going to drop even more units. Now I'll see. If he drops more units, I go wide. If he doesn't, then I guess go for the draw and snipe up a potential unit. Because I could go. I could also go fading icon. Um. Hmm. Maybe not going for the draw seems fine. Going wide might be the play actually. Go fading icon again. And go uh, the this card to potentially kill off a uh, undying to snipe off a unit too. You having that unit? That unit doesn't have all so oh, it's a fish. Okay, that's interesting. Sure. Hold it steady for me. You got a quick skin though, so that's that. You. I mean, there's no reason to kill you anymore, right? I mean, he has he has two units. I have two blockers. I should be fine. I'm just kind of afraid of a a tree uh, of an entomb. This completely shuts down my uh, nessus for two turns, which is not that nice. Oh yeah, I give it scout, that's annoying. Hmm. Yeah, maybe just developing a unit for now seems fine. Because you know, pop scout, I don't know, like that. Undying. Hmm, okay. I need a second hard oh, death. A thousand years of battle and I'm just warm enough! You don't have to it's a bit scary too, but I can actually someone. just... Play Nessus and be like the, a 2020 Wolf of Stat line. I mean, if he, he, he could have the spell that gives a unit challenger and challenge Nessus away, which is also kind of scary. So keep that in mind. Okay, he doesn't have it. That's good news. So he full attack. Sure. I don't mind that at all. Oh, wait, he could. He could win with a uh, in Tomb, actually. If I block with Nasus, he entombs Nasus and go for OM damage and he just wins the game. So pretty god he doesn't have 3 sister here. He has exactly enough mana for it. He's not attacking so I guess he doesn't have it. So that's good news. Putting in uh, Jack's last, I don't think the order really matters here. All of them are weapon masters, it doesn't really matter in the end. Maybe he's not attacking because of like 30 20 work for stat line. Oh he's looking for units huh? Or maybe like a uh, 3 sister. Uh, it's still not good enough. I have perfect blockers for everything. If I just block like this. Um, like this, block like this, and block like this. And Nashless is level now. Pretty strong. And I just block Jax. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's not good. Uh, oh, that's 6 damage only though. That's fine. I thought he had like, Lito there, so that's like, kinda scary. Life and death inexorably interwoven. So Nasus is level here pretty strong. And I guess I pass here. 
There's no really reason to play any of these guards. Brand negation. Do I ever just attack you? I mean, attack you just blocks, doesn't really matter. I guess we'll go for Spreelish to draw. Nah, 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 let's just attack first. Since let, let's just get bank in the undying value, right? It's 7 damage, she might actually block dying. Yep. Kill unit for free. Frost Spider, that's actually pretty strong. Over play. Stops Nasus. And pops Spell Shield, okay. Resolve this. Nasus now has 6 health. This doesn't make a good trade if I use Spree Leash now. That's pretty nice. Combat Code again. This is like the second Combat Code, isn't it? Sure. Did not have a on, which is good news. On would have completely destroyed me on turn 7. Play Spree Leash to kill you off. Pop the cards. Sure, grow Nasus by a bit. Sure, sure. I could play Undying Crumble, so shit's fine. A broken thing that's fine too, I'll play Undying here. I guess I will just play you for board presence. Seems fine. Pull you off. And end round here. And bank a mana if you place all night just crumble, if you place jacks like this crumble, and we should be fine. Seems to be on two for draw, that's fine. I still have Ryan Engage, uh atrocity to win the game, since this undying is six attack, so. He needs another unforgiving code to force by Nasus and Undying to actually maintain uh, being, him being alive. That's fine. I have Nasus to block. That's fine. I have, uh, this to block. That's fine. I have this to block. All of my units have perfect blockers. So let's see what he does here. Oh, that card. He equips to get a copy of it, but I don't think I'm really mad or so. Eh, let's just do this for now. Security unit off, sure. Why did I use atrocity to win the game there? It's kind of boring, man. I, don't, I mean, I always just use it as a last resort. I don't like to win with a yeah, it's GG. I want a Nasus to bonk him in the face. It's way better instead of winning with a so, I mean, he still surrenders, but GG. That ca new card, hey, look at that. Things. Actually, helped me win the game. Thunder Trindamir. This is gonna be really annoying. Ah, uh, don't think I keep Nasus. Nah, I don't think. Nah. He's not gonna summon too much of a unit for me to actually kill. This unit might be dead in my hand. Uh, this is gonna be really rough. She who won is gonna completely destroy me, so that's not good. Also, he's a ram card, so I'm not gonna be really getting that much value with him dying, am I? With Crumble, yes, but other spells like Hate Spike and. Mm, it's not gonna be that useful. That's annoying. Can't even attack now. Sure. Country, I guess, I developed by dying and hope for the best. Hate Spike is not that useful. This matchup, he wrapped, so. Not looking too good. But I'll give it a fair shot. That's fine, I'll skip. I'm not gonna block this. And pass again. Turn for Kindred. No Kindred. I guess I pass again. Oh wait, they should have attacked with Undying though. This play. Should I attack with Undying? You gotta be kidding me. Thanks. Okay, sure. Should kill one of them, I guess. Not like Hate Spell is gonna kill any other unit, right? Thunder and Trinity is gonna be boys, then killing is impossible. Good attack, it's not that good. Or like Spreelish or Glimpse Beyond, those two cards will be amazing here. Allows me to actually play something. Hundred is not that bad, but Dice is a little uh, Vengeance, Tree Sister, Inhuman, and stuff like that, so might not be the best card I have. But I will just play it now. Tempo. It's at 4 health, so he needs double Avalanche to actually kill it instead of Avalanche of Balfies. So keep that in mind. Heal again and ramp. Oh my god, he's gonna absolutely destroy me here. I guess I didn't round again. Atrocity, mm, maybe, sure. I'll give it a fair shot. He most likely blocks here. There's no reason not to block with his uh, one one. He tanks the head. Why? Why would you ever tank it? For no reason. Heal again, sure. Come to six six again. That's annoying. I'm a pass though. Nah, maybe. maybe. I'm, a... I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, I'll mark the spider link. Oh, that's stupid. I thought I'll mark the six six. That's dumb. What the hell? I guess I should just do it to play something, also try to level Kindred. It's not that bad of an idea. Sure, let's go for that play, I guess. Hmm. So I'm not just I guess, sure. At least I get rid of the 1-1 unit. 
So, sure. Chomp. So, she who won this destroys me. So, that's amazing. Glimps beyond. Okay, more draw. Okay, nice. Feel the rush. Okay. So, yeah, anyway. I started denying, and. <laughs> I need to deny it. I'm not gonna give him like 10 10 champions. I wanted to say if uh, Ryan Negation deny the she who won this ability, but that, that might be the best case scenario actually. I think I'll actually play this unit because uh, if she wants to dropping down next turn, um, the units are not gonna be alive anytime. So maybe just developing that should be alright to uh, allow me to attack from a lot of damage next turn. This is looking kind of winnable, I guess, but yes, five cards. You could just have Frostbite and I could still be dead. Kindred again, sure. So I guess this is my play now. Yeah, I just attack for everything and hope for the best. Vengeance is not that good. I have another Kindred in hand actually, so we just glimpse beyond my- wait, 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 wait. Atrocity could have me win the game, but it's... Again, boss fight, so maybe glimpse beyond first. Since I could also use Atrocity to kill my own undying, so maybe be patient with it for now. Another Kindred, I have two Kindred in hand, sure. So, play something and then you just play something. He's smart, he's big brain. It's annoying. I guess I play Kindred again. She won't be get she won't get up the great art by attack, right? Yep. Um that's right. Something soon forgotten, dear wolf. Um pass here, I guess. Glitz low board, but damage on Kindred. But Avalanche could kill Kindred again, which is annoying. But should be alright. Game Spion is a powerful card here. Help me max him. Yep, this helps me keep Kindred alive, which is awesome. I guess I go for that play. Not like atrocity is enough since he healed with very uh, 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 what is the card? Um Blight of Ravine, yeah. Forgot the name for a second there. Avalanche, she really wants Kindred there, huh? Okay, um there's no other way I mean this could save Kindred but nah, just play Nessus to try to win the game next turn. Nice end round here. I'm also getting an undying, so that's good I guess. Wi-Fi, sure, it's really sure. I'm not sure in hand, this allows me to draw, okay. This is actually not looking too bad for a matchup, I guess. I was hoping that this would be pretty rough, but this is actually alright. Again, I trust that he kills me, uh, Frostbite kills me here, so I'm gonna resolve this. I'm not be patient with it, there's no rush, right? I'm not like gonna die immediately. Because he needs to play like his high cost cards. So Kindred here seems like a play. And this privilege to grow Kindred. So that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's not that good, but this allows me to generate blockers, but all of his units has overwhelmed basically at this point, right? So maybe not the best. And I'm dying is not that too good. I mean it's actually fine, maybe I want to like double crumble here. That's annoying. I have another undying actually, so maybe that's fine. Who runs that card actually? I mean, you run, most like this runs one copy of it. That's fine. I guess he uses that to counter uh, Viego and Nora, so that makes sense. Because those decks, uh, Viego and Nora is a pretty strong deck. That's, and that's also one of my decks I'm gonna be building in the future. Certainly not good enough because Atrocity wins, wins me in the game here, so that's nice. Yeah, let's just win the game. I'm not, I'm not gonna wait, he has 2 mana, he can't do anything at this point. GG. Patience makes perfect. Good game. Hello? Oh yeah. Oh wait, it took so long. Okay, sure. GG. I guess it's fine then.